Okay, let's continue on with our speaker headphones here. I'm going to go into polygon mode. I'm going to select one of these little rivets we just made and hit Control C. Then I'm going to paste it. And I'm going to move it over. About right here. Like so. We're going to have it come out of here diagonally. So let's hit the E key so we can rotate it. And we'll rotate it up like that looks pretty good W key so I can move it over a tad let's hit the R key and scale it out from the middle like so make it a little bigger and we'll take our action center and make it local and we'll scale it down to make it not as long spacebar drop the tool and now we've got this little thing coming out so I'm going to select it control command X to paste it new item new mesh item command V and I'm going to paste that so it's on a totally separate mesh item okay so now let's go on here and continue to work I'm just going to stay in this mesh item I want to select this command C to copy it and let's paste it okay and I'm going to move it up E to rotate let's rotate this around like this Okay, now we need to align these polygons up here. So I'm going to select these three polygons and go to my mesh edit, select my tack tool. I'm going to select this polygon that's going to line me up like that right there. Spacebar deselect. Hit my W key and I can move this over. Now we've got a pretty good little line up there. Let's bring it down some. Like so. Okay, now we have this little attachment here. Let's bring it down even more. Widen that out a bit. Scale it down a little. Okay, now we have this little mark here. So now what we're going to do is let's slice these up real quick with our with our um, loop slice. Count of two mode free and put them on 10 percent each one on 10 percent so it'll hold its shape when I go into sub D mode see now what I'm gonna do is you can actually even if you want to bevel these and it might even help hold its shape a little bit more on the ends so let's turn around here and bevel this hitting the B key clicking beveling in spacebar drop the tool click the select tab to go into sub D's and there we go so now let's go ahead and make a new one, a new thing. We can make our little strap. Let's make a square, and let's draw out a square here. And let's line it up. Like so. Okay, now let's work on this a little bit. That's a little wide for my liking. Let's make it a little less wide. Okay, that looks okay, I guess. So now, spacebar, drop the tool, and select that polygon. Go to Mesh, Edit, and let's axis slice this, okay? As you can see, I've sliced it sixth, sixth in six in the X and the Z, four in the Y, and just one in the X. Okay, so now in spacebar and drop the tool, go into vertices mode, and I can select these and just move them up a little bit just to make a little, just a little round indention there. So um, bear with me here. Let's just up these a little bit to make it a little rounder. Now there's lots easier ways to do this. Trust me. But um, I'm wanting to do this the simplest way for you moto beginners, the most straightforward way. And this, manipulating everything by hand like this, is the most straightforward way, and it's the easiest to grasp for beginners. And as you can see, we've got this little round shape now, and that's going to roughly square me in here on this little thing. And it's not going to be accurate. 
totally great right now, but we're going to get there, okay? This is just roughly laying this in. I'm trying to go back in the point mode, and all you can do is just start tweaking a little bit. Now, it would probably be easier to go into element move, mode by hitting the T key and doing this. But, um, this way you can really see what I'm trying to do here. Which is line this up just to, just halfway with a little circular shape. And just touch these together. Now we've got us a slight little circular shape there, as you can see. Space bar, go back into polygon mode. And we can move this down just a little bit to roughly set it in play. Okay, now let's go on with making our strap. Let's go into the quad view so I can see what's going on here. So I'm going to go in here, go to my edge mode. Let's select these edges. On top. And that's it. Okay, now I want to hit the Z key, bring out Edge Extend, and I'm going to click, and as you can see when I do, I can drag that edge out down here. Okay? I want to shift click, and I'm going to drag this out like this until I get up, I don't know, pretty good far ways. And then we can adjust this further. Like so. Spacebar drop the tool. Let's go into vert mode. And let's just um, select some of these verts here and just line them out a little bit. Make them a little more straight. Okay, I think that's going to do good enough. Let's go back into model mode. Let's zoom around here. Let's go to polygon. Select the whole thing. Let's go to our basic tab and hit thicken. Let's zoom out here. Let's click and let's thicken this up. Like so. Spacebar drop the tool. Now I'm going to select the whole thing. And let's move it over a little to center it back up. Now when I go into sub D mode, I can come down here and bring this down a little bit and we can make all this stuff touch and connect later this is just roughly laying it in okay now we have this let's go up here let's um what can we do here go back into polygon mode let's select here and we'll put some loop slices in So, a couple of them, make them pretty close to the edge. Spacebar, drop the tool. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these polygons here and get rid of them. Hitting the delete key. Now as you can see, we're holding our shape there pretty good. So let's go to polygons and let's select these, these, these and these and let's go back to our basic tab and let's do the thicken again make it look like a little bit of padding like that okay let's select all of our meshes here now when we zoom around you can see what we're getting at because we'll have to go in and select our meshes and we don't want to select we don't want to miss any pieces even these little ones in here, you want to make sure you get. And you go up to mirror under the duplicate. Mirror it in the X. And now, as you can see, we have a mirrored copy. 
I was gonna save this for the next video. So let's select this, go into polygon mode. And we'll delete that face there. And we'll go here, go into polygon mode. We can delete that face there. Go into edge mode. Select the edge. And bridge them. Now when we go back into polygon sub D mode. We have us a rough set of headphones. And we'll continue on in our next tutorial. I hope to see you then. Thanks for watching.